In the previous video, we have placed obstacles on our map, but the issue is that we do not have an easy way to regenerate our map. So let's implement a button that we will be able to press to recreate our map on the fly when we are in the game mode. So let's stop the game. First, let's open the map visualizer as we will have to remove all the already placed objects from our screen. OK, and we will need to store references to our game object somehow. So let's create a dictionary. And I need to call alt enter and call using system collections generic. And this dictionary will have keys as vector3 and values will be game object references. Let's call it dictionary of obstacles equals new dictionary. OK, great. So now let's slide to our visualize using primitives. And here, first of all, we'll create an if statement if our dictionary of obstacles contains key position on grid equals false. And here we'll create only the uh, instance of our uh, obstacle if our dictionary doesn't contain already this position. And to the dictionary itself, we will add elements when we call the create indicator. So below creating the element, we'll call dictionary of obstacles add and we will call position as the key and our element as the value. So this way we will store all the references to the created game objects inside our dictionary. And we need to have a way to clear our map. So let's create public void clear map. And inside this method we will look for each our obstacle in our dictionary of obstacles dot values and we will call destroy each obstacle. OK, so this way we have destroyed all the obstacles. Next, we will need to call dictionary.clear to clear the dictionary itself. And now we can call this method somewhere uh, in our uh, map uh, generator. So let's go back to Unity. OK. And let's open up the map generator class. Great. Now we can see that here we are calling everything inside our start method. Now I will leave the grid visualizer dot visualize grid inside our start method, but everything else we will extract using a left click, the quick actions extract method, and we will call this method generate new map. OK, great. So here, first of all, what we will want to do is call map visualizer dot clear map. So if there is anything in our dictionary, it will get cleared. Next, we will want to create our grid. So we'll create a new grid. And next, we are going to randomly select se start and exit points. Now we need to call the candidate map create uh, the candidate map and create the map and visualize it. Now we need to have a way to call this method and we of course can create a UI element in our game and click it to regenerate the map but I am going to create a custom uh, inspector for our map generator so let's go back to unity let's save the class uh, we can of course create a button inside our UI in our game but I want to create a custom editor for this, actually custom inspector for our map generator. So let's go back to Unity. OK. To create a custom inspector for a class, we need to create first a folder called editor with capital E. Great. And inside here, we need to create a separate C Sharp script. Let's call it map generator inspector. OK, great. Let's open it in our code editor. OK. 
So here, what we want to do is, first of all, we don't want to extend the mono behavior. Instead, we want to extend editor. And I need to click Alt Enter and using Unity Editor. Great. Now we need to create an attribute. I'll call the attribute create a custom editor. And in the breaks, brackets, let's type type of. And again in brackets, let's type map generator. So this will mean that this map generator inspector will be a custom inspector of the map generator class. So what we need to do here, first let's create a variable called uh, of type map generator called map. First of all, we need to call on enable and here we will call map equals and any custom editor has access to special variable called target and target is an object pointing to the map generator object that we are viewing in our inspector so we need to cast it to map generator and let's call target so this will cast our object of type map generator to be actually type map generator and it will be saved as our map now we need to override the on inspector gui so let's call override a spacebar and we need to call on inspector gui enter and it should create our method and after base on inspector GUI call we will call if application is playing so we do not uh, have an ability to create this map inside the editor we will only be able to regenerate our map during the gameplay so if our GUI layout dot button which will simply create a button inside our inspector below everything that we have defined in our map generator as public variables. So uh, if this button with uh, text generate new map is clicked, we will call map.generate and we do not have this. Let's go to map generator. And let's see the generate map is private so let's change it to public great let's go back to map generator inspector and now we should be able to call generate new map and this doesn't take any parameters okay so now let's go back to unity okay and when you click on our map generator there are no uh, no changes at all but when we click play now we have our button and when we click it the map regenerates and creates a different uh, set of start and end points and a different set of obstacles on our map. So this way we will have easier time for testing what changes if we change the position for example of start and end position. And we can see already that there is a, an issue where usually we end up with a map that doesn't have a valid path from one point to the other so next we will create our a star uh, implementation uh, of the pathfinding algorithm and try searching for a path and try repairing this map uh, to create a path between those two points and after that we will tackle visualizing this map using prefabs that we have imported